actually, if I, can I boost this up? No, there we go, yeah, the whole thing fits. I'm gonna very quickly redo this part, well not redo it, but just kind of check out what's going on in there. This big cactus here that we call Russell, this is Russell the cactus, I cannot remember why we call it Russell. It's an Argentine saguaro, which is also an Echinopsis tshekii. No doubt it has about 4,000 other names that it's now called. So no, there's nothing wrong with Russell. Russell's good. Russell's living a good life apart from all the cobwebs. Don't look too closely. It's the other stuff in the pot that I'm not really 100% confident about. It's looking pretty messy. There's some stuff that's really drying up in here. We'll have a closer look. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if there's some dead cactus in here. Which makes me very sad because it's an expensive cactus that might be dead in there. So we're gonna have a look at this pot. Okay. I'm just gonna rip it out. Okay, so there's a couple of things here. This used to be a beautiful, vibrant orange, but everything that's colorful seems to turn green in my garden. I have no idea what these are, but they are closing up really tightly. So I would like to put these in a, in a spot that's much happier. Or just check out the soil. I wonder if something's going on with the soil. Like this is all feeling very dry. These rainbow cactus just haven't grown like at all. So I'm wondering if something's rotted, if that's all what this brown stuff is here. I don't know. We're going to dig it up and have a look. These are meant to be Echeveria bee's knees, but they are so dehydrated. They have not grown at all. I think they're just dormant from dehydration. These Aeonium kiwi. You know, they have actually looked better. There's a little bit of mealy that I'm going to have to treat. You can see there. Yeah, there's merely. The stand of Aeoniums have looked much better. It is getting hotter, but still, even during the winter, they weren't looking that crash hot, I would have to say. Normally they're like a really, they turn a really beautiful yellow color, but they're just, they're looking just really dull at the moment. And this Aeonium Medusa just needs to come out. I, yeah, had high hopes for it, but obviously something's going on here. This seems to be like a very dry spot. So we'll dig everything up and check all of that stuff out. These, uh, I don't know if you can see, so I'm just going to tilt the camera back a little bit. These Kalanchoe panda ears are thriving, so that's like, that's one thing that's kind of living its best life in this pot. And I don't know what these are, these green stalky things. They're not chalk sticks. They look like chalk sticks, so they're probably of the same group, Senecio something or other. I, I just don't like the look of them. I don't like the look of them, so they're moving. We're going to dig those out of there, so yeah. I guess we'll just start by having a look at what's just what's going on. Really, where are all my tools? I just had them out here. Just reposition the camera so you can get a better look. I'm missing my big makeup brush. My makeup brush that I normally uh, like clean cobwebs with. So uh, this is this is what we're using at the moment until it decides to reappear. I swear to God, if it's not my spade that's missing, it's something else. Oh yeah, that Aeonium needs, definitely needs to come out. Shall we start there? Let's just see what's going on. Oh mate, that's looking very poor. Not the wildest root system on it, and there's a little bit of mealy on it as well. So we'll clean that up and put that in another pot. And it's dormant at the moment, but we'll keep it inside somewhere. Now oh, I had high hopes for something to grow tall here, but maybe... Ooh, maybe I can put the Echeveria Hera in there. The really stalky one. Now let's see just what's going on with these. Oh, oh my god, these are long gone. Oh, these roots are dry. Wow. Not good. That's got no roots virtually and that stem, that root stem is, is so dry. Okay, let's see what else is going on. As I was saying before, I think that these were extra plant mail that I'd received one time. They kind of remind me of Echeveria Mexican Snowball. A little bit, but not quite. 
I think these are really pretty, so I'm kind of a bit devo that these, I think, ooh, that's wet. Have these rotted or? I think they've just dried up. I think they had it. All right, let's remove the bee's knees first. Let's see what's happening with the bee's knees. Ooh. Oh my God. Some of these bits have definitely felt like they've dried up. I'm wondering if I should just behead them and give them a new start because they obviously just don't seem to be doing well here. And also this soil looks really crap. What did I pot this with? Yeah, there's like virtually no roots on that. So um, I might chop them up and reset them or I did see some bees knees in Bunnings. Let's not talk about replacing these right away. Let's see if we can try and save them. Okay, so now... Uh, oh my god, that just came right out. Oh no. Oh no, it looks terrible, doesn't it? I mean, there's roots. They're very dehydrated roots. They're not looking plump or anything. Oh. You know what I might do? I might actually pot this up in a separate pot and then see if I can very slowly try to rehydrate the, um, the roots here. It just looks very shriveled and very lifeless. Let's see what's happening with this really big one. Ow! <sighs> Come on. Okay, so... Okay. Okay. Not terrible. This part is definitely, is that rotted or is that dry? I mean, I can't tell. Rotted or dry. It is a bit squishy, but cactus also do tend to get a bit squishy when they're um, under water. They, they kind of shrivel up and they dehydrate. So I can't tell if this is a dry squish or a rot squish. I don't know. I mean, the bit up the top still looks okay. All right, again, I might put this in its own pot and try and save it. I won't put it out here. Can you see that? It's like really squishy the whole way through. I actually think this might be rotted. The roots don't smell rotted. This is the thing. Let me have a think about this. This that used to be so beautifully. This used to be a really beautiful pink color. It needs more sun. I might put it somewhere else. Okay, well, I'm a bit hesitant to just keep digging up everything. Oh yeah, I want to take this out. I do want to take this out. I don't like this in here. Yep, this is taken over. Ooh. They're somehow stuck together. There we go. This is going to come out. Oh dry. Well, I mean, they are dormant. I probably shouldn't be pulling at the roots, but you know what? I found Aeonium Kiwi to be, to kind of grow really well during the summer. They definitely have a dormant period, but I find that they're not as sensitive as the other Aeoniums. I'm going to see if I can replace the soil with my, even my grittier mix. I mean, the problem is that they're drying out and maybe I shouldn't be doing grittier mix, but Okay, maybe I can just give this some new substrate and then see how all of that goes. All right, I'm gonna see if I can pull out the Senecia because I don't like it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna come right out too. Oh, I can just pull that right out. Okay, well, at least this is still doing well. Yeah, still got really good roots. Um, don't know where this is gonna go though. Do not know. next morning. It is so nice and still in the mornings here. It gets really windy in the afternoons, but look at how peaceful it is. It's just so nice. It's quarter to seven in the morning. I am an early riser. I've given up coffee. This is the fourth day now. The first two days were a nightmare. I thought people must have been overreacting when they talked about the symptoms of coffee withdrawal. No. 
it's the worst. It really is the worst. But today I'm feeling okay. I, okay, so this is where we left everything off. Um, I did upgrade my soil mix since potting up Russell here. And maybe I'll just refresh it with that a little bit and I'll take it from there. All right, so I'll just see what we can get done before work. I'm working, today's a work from home day and yeah. It is so hot here. Turn on the AC. I'm gonna leave outside for a little bit because I've still, I'm still just trying to think about what plants I want to put in the pot. I'm just gonna start with these, these cacti first. So the ones that I'm gonna pot up are the two, these two rainbow cacti. Oh God, this doesn't have a hole. <sighs> found a pot with a drainage hole. So I'm potting up these two rainbow cacti here and then the Aeonium Medusa, which I'm hoping will bounce back. I have changed up my cactus and succulent mix again. I'm gonna try not using perlite, but hear me out. So it still has pumice, it still has gritty mix, it still has zeolite all mixed into the soil. The reason that I'm doing this is because the perlite just tends to float to the top and because it's so windy out on the balcony, all of it just blows off onto the balcony. It's still a pretty airy, chunky mix, but I'm just gonna forego the perlite. That is my decision and we're sticking to it for now. This poor cactus here, I really am gonna try and revive it. I think it's rotted. Tim thinks it's dehydrated. I am actually gonna stick it in water for a little while. If it is dehydrated, it should plump up nicely. Like a lot of people are scared of doing that, but really out in the desert, the rain is so um, intermittent. Is it intermittent? I don't know if that's the right word to use, but basically it kind of comes all at once. So cacti and succulents are really good at holding onto and retaining water in the actual body of the plant because they go for long periods without water. So they've got to be able to preserve as much as possible. Anyway, all of that to kind of say, if it is dehydrated, I think it should plump up nicely. And if it's rotted, it's just gonna fall apart even further. I mean, I'm not in love with how this looks at the moment. So just doing this little experiment on it, whatever the result, it can only be like good or even worse. Do you know what I mean? I'm okay with handling this cactus. The spines aren't really sharp. They kind of wrap around the cactus. They don't really stick out and pricky. I mean, really, should I be wearing gloves? Absolutely. Am I going to right now? No. All right, so that's one potted up. This is so dry. Look at these roots. That's ridiculous. I wonder why it wasn't getting any water. That smells fine. I'm really sad because I do love rainbow cacti. And the other ones in the other pot are doing really well. One just flowered recently, so. Number two. I think this Aeonium Medusa, I mean, it's got a little bit of a root system on it. It's just doing really poorly. I think, when did I plant this? I planted this at the beginning, this time last year, and it hasn't done anything. It barely grew over the winter, so, hmm. Poor Ms. Medusa. Can you even see that? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put these two in a hydro treatment and just see what it does. We're just gonna see what it does. It's growing season, so hopefully it'll do something good, but we'll see. Um, I also just wanted to pot up the, the, the Sinecio, I think it's a Sinecio of some sort. I don't actually really know. Let me just see if I can find a pot for it and bring it in. I can't even put the whole plant in the shot. There we go. So it's this and I'm gonna put it, yeah, that works. I don't know where it's gonna go.
this seems to be going fine. This is this was quite happy where it was, but I just don't like the look of it. Next to Russell, it's it's just too same same. We don't have enough contrast between the colors. All right, so this is gonna go back outside. I'm literally doing this in my kitchen because that's where I do this kind of stuff. Uh, this is my Regal Shields. She is magnificent, but she's overtaking this shot, so she's gonna have to go. Ugh. Down here. This is a Dracaena Marginata that um, is a cutting. I've cut it down and I've re. I'm waiting for it to grow some roots so that I can actually. It should probably be okay now. Okay, so I've got a. And I've got these two plants. Actually, I do want to remove this sticker. I always have to remove all of the stickers before I use any kind of container. I don't like leaving them on. All right, so I'm going to fill this up first. <laughs> Change of plan. I'm going to fill this up first at the tap. So here, we're just going to fill this up. I am going to use a little bit of sea salt. Maybe I should give this a little thing to sit on. There we go. We're going to leave this for a little while. I'm just going to keep monitoring it. I have left stuff in hydro for days. I don't know if this is what this needs or if it's just going to kill it. I don't know. This is all a big experiment. I'm taking you along for the ride. So we'll see what happens. Honestly, the difference between morning and afternoon is like massive i can't believe how still and windless it is right now it is so peaceful i do like mornings and i guess that's why this channel is called the morning chorus uh, 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 uh. what i'm gonna do is not an entire repot of this because look at russell look at look at look how big russell is russell is this tall that's that's a two-person job and um we're not doing that right now but i am gonna try and dig up some soil i'm not gonna disturb this cal and Koei looks happy cal and Koei can stay in fact i think what i might do is actually push cal and Koei back further now that it's grown this tall oh spider lots of spiders please don't attach your web onto me don't be silly i'm moving we'll just take it from there One side of the pot is really dry and the other side of the pot is really moist. One moment. <sighs> I think I may have discovered some root mealy, which is not great. I'm gonna need to treat it. We don't have capacity to unpot this fully right now and luckily it looks like the root mealy is just contained to a small section around the back. I mean it could have been the reason why the roots on the um, on the medusa and the aeonium were looking pretty not great so yeah. If you have a look around here just there doesn't seem to really be anywhere else on the plant. I mean, what I'm going to try and do first is just treat this area, see how that goes, refresh that with soil, and then we'll just have a think about how to put plants back into this pot. But Russell seems to be doing okay. Uh, okay, so 
In order to repot this, it's gonna, it's a huge job. I'm actually gonna see what Tim thinks because he's the one that's gonna have to help me. At the very least, I'm gonna just treat this for now. I can't, we can't do anything about it today. I've got to start work really soon. So I'm just gonna treat it with a neem oil and soapy water mix and just kind of like flush that through. And then, yeah, we'll decide on what to do. I mean, this is fine. This is growing really, really well. I don't know. There might be some root mealy. I think this whole pot has root mealy. This is really disappointing. Well, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. This must be a very resilient plant. Oh, God. Really annoying. You know when you feel like you're going to be so productive and then you discover a problem that sets you back in time like 50 billion hours. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. It is what it is. And these are the trials and tribulations of being a plant person. All right, well, let's just get this neem oil mixture done. So neem oil is going to suffocate. This is this is the neem oil that we're going to use. It's going to suffocate the um, root mealy and then hopefully yeah, sorry, dirty fingernails and then hopefully it'll kill it. But that's that that I think yeah, I think that actually explains a lot. A lot. Which is really annoying. Okay, so here's what I've done. I have five litres of water here. I was reading on the back of the neem oil bottle that it's about 10 millimeters to every five liters to treat pests for ornamental plants. And I've also mixed in some hot water here. So I boiled some water, but I mixed that boiled water in with some like tap water so the whole thing isn't just scorching hot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna pour the entire five liters into this pot here. I'm just gonna kind of do it incrementally around this side and around this side as well. I mean, really, it just needs to go plant so here we go killing all and around the side okay that's all I'm gonna put in that's about half oh my lord that's freaking disgusting nothing I can do except treat it right now so that's I guess what was happening to the roots of those plants and why as I was pulling them out we didn't find healthy root systems on really any of the plants because what the root merely does is that it kind of like it sucks the life out of the roots. I haven't really had root merely before. It's never really been a big problem in my garden. I normally have like the the mealy that you find on top on, on the actual plant itself. I think I may have had root merely once now that I'm thinking about it. I might have had root merely and just kind of like gone, oh I wonder what that is. I didn't really know what it was. And so I guess I kind of ignored it and it just kind of went away on itself, by itself. Um, yeah, it's super annoying. What can I say? It's really, really annoying. I mean, Russell is looking pretty healthy. There's some new growth at the top there. So it's like, I don't know, I guess best practice would be to yeah, just repot the whole damn thing. I think Russell's roots are looking pretty good. It's it's the roots of the other plants that aren't looking so great. Yeah, these are good. Anyway, I'm going to pack this all up because I've got to start work really soon. And yeah, we'll continue this another day. So this weird thing has happened where I've tested positive for COVID. But we're going to try and move Russell inside. We are going to unpot him. By the way, I don't really have any symptoms for COVID. Just thought I'd... get as much dirt off the roots as possible and then we're gonna carry it into the bathroom give the roots a good wash in 
in the shower, spray them down and then soak them in a neem oil treatment, like in, in a big bucket. So we're going to put the cactus in a really huge bucket and then soak the, the roots and hopefully that'll drown them all. Get my hands dirty. Swing it over this side so I can get the bag around here. Let's go around. Hold that there. Yeah. Can you carry it? Yep. Is it about first? Yeah. Russell, all soaked up. He actually looks really sick because he's got a towel on his head and his feet in some treatment. So this is water, detergent and neem oil and hopefully that's going to kill all of the roots. So we're going to let that soak for about an hour or two and then take Russell out, rinse off the roots and then dry him out. But honestly, I think that is all that I'm capable of filming today because we're gonna have to clean the floor up and everything and I'm just tired now and it's 20 to eight in the evening and I don't wanna do more filming. My energy levels are pretty good though, considering that I've got COVID and I'm on day Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm on day four of no coffee. I'm doing all right. Okay, I'll see you another day. Morning everyone, it is a couple of days later and Russell, as you can see here, has been laying, laying down on the floor. The roots are dry. We were thinking of repotting him in a different pot. So once, Tim has COVID as well. So when we're over COVID, we're gonna go out and buy a terracotta pot, maybe something smaller and terracotta so it dries out quicker and will avoid another root mealy situation, hopefully. Yeah, but there's really just not much that we can do right now. Both of us are working from home. My symptoms, well, I ended up getting a stuffy nose. That was pretty much it. It feels more like a cold. The first time I had COVID, oh my Lord, it was high temperatures, it was chills, I was shivering in bed. It was terrible. This time around, I feel that the symptoms are much milder, which is a good thing, and that I hope that means that I won't be testing for as long. This is also the second time I've had it within six months, which I think just speaks to how much I haven't rested and how much I've been pushing myself. I was working at capacity for a couple of weeks there, a couple of weeks that have just passed across October and November. And um, I, I did have a proper burnout. I'm still probably going through a, a burnout. So we can unpack all of that another time. I'm gonna go water some indoor plants. So maybe you can join me for that.
So Russell will be staying like this for a few days more. He's going to be fine. He's big enough that, you know, not even the root nearly really hurt him. We'll get him potted up in no time. We are out and about. Feeling much better, thank you very much. We're gonna go to the nursery and get a pot for Russell, and then we'll have to get more soil to pot Russell up. Sorry, what's the price of that? Really? Okay. Is probably too small. I reckon that'll be too small. So this is actually this is actually bare minimum. Is it? Yeah. And then 30, yeah. So that's enough. Depth is enough. I reckon it'll be enough. Yeah. That's bare minimum. Like the roots, the roots are gonna be up against here. And it's okay. gonna stick out there. I've got some other really nice pots here. This one's nice. $129. I've got a nice stand of succulents here. Aeonium Mardi Gras, even though it says assorted. It's a pretty good price for how many heads that plant has. So I'm still deciding on whether I put the old plants back in the pot with Russell or buy a whole bunch of new plants and replace the ones that were in there. I don't know yet. I don't know. Where's Tim? Pot is rinsed. The new cactus and succulent mix. How much of the bottom layer should I fill? Well, I might as well just tip, tip this in. Is that enough to hold it in now to keep it standing? Ow! We're gonna get these panda ears back in there. I reckon these can be like the furthest thing back now. Oh, uh, not the best angle, but we're gonna work with this. I was thinking this Echeveria hera, I was gonna put it in another planter, but I think it'll actually go pretty well. And this is a clumper as well. I know that this is pretty stalky, but I reckon it's gonna clump somehow. I believe in it. This is a Pacaveria or pet. But yeah, maybe I can put this in here too, instead of buying more plants. That's always a good idea. And then Bronze Delight for Spiller. That can probably go somewhere. Oh, yes, yes. That's pretty good. Okay, well, I guess I'll pull this out. I can't remember the name of this, but it used to be a really beautiful coral pink and now it's not that. So that's frustrating, but it was the prettiest color. It really, really was. As you can see, the direction of these leaves have shifted because this has been inside. Hoping they'll correct course at some point. Okay. I'm kind of excited to put this in a planter. Just a few spider webs here, but I can't find my makeup brush, like at all. Hmm. Instead of this, I would like to put another cactus. 
for a bit of varied texture here because it needs something else like it just yeah it needs it needs something else and in fact I might move this okay this is coming out I'm gonna put this somewhere else I'll probably put this in the planter along the railings. And then this one can probably go a little bit more this way. Gosh, I feel like I haven't done an arrangement in ages. Looks pretty good. And then I can get a spiller in here, which is this. This can come out. All right, we are back outside. Russell's back outside in this beautiful pot. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Nothing changed since, when was it, yesterday? Now I am thinking that I wanna put two different cacti in this pot, Stenocerus or something. Steino, Steino cactus, Steino cactus, I think. And this one here, I cannot remember the name of this off the top of my head, but I will get a name for you up on the screen. This is the only time I can film, so I really wanted to get out here and do this because I have another big week of work. And I swear to God, this is gonna be the last big week of work before the end of the year. All I wanna do is just more gardening. Like we are all tired. It's the end of the year. Everyone's exhausted and we all just want our holidays, don't we? Yeah, so I'm thinking of arranging these two in there somehow, like that. And then these, let me just show you, these um, bronze delights, these were the ones where I was like, I'm not too sure if these have mealy, root mealy or not. Just in case, we've been bathing them in this solution because we just spent so much energy in getting rid of the root mealy from this pot. It would just be such a shame if it did end up being root mealy and then we had to you know. And then I think I'm just gonna fill the rest with top dressing and then just leave it there for now. These cactus here are really, really small. I think I'm okay with that. I kind of like the look of this here. I know that they're very tiny, but you know, webs. And I like the look of this. How do I like the look of this? Like there? <coughs> Excuse me. Like So maybe something like that. And then the, the Watcher Macaulay can can kind of like spill out this way. I think that's pretty good. Let's go with that. That kind of looks like that at the moment. Oh gosh, this soil is wet. I'm gonna keep going ahead with this. Uh, I'm wondering if I actually need to shift the cacti a little bit further that way because the cactus kind of like goes down here, like Russell. I don't know if you can kind of like see that, but like that's kind of like Russell's bottom part. So I'm wondering if we actually need to push the cacti this way, just so that it gives them a little bit more growing room. Uh, this is gonna look super weird, but we're gonna go with it. I bet this one's gonna be happy to be outside because this one's been indoors for months. And then we're gonna just try and unpack that one. I'm, I'm gonna try and do this without gloves. Yes, I am, because I'm a rebel. That is what that looks like. Bring that down here. So it's going to sit a little bit lower than the top of the pot, but you know what? I'm okay with that. These things are going to grow. They're going to grow in time. They'll grow slowly, but they'll grow. Uh, ow! Oh, that's what you get for doing things without gloves. Ow, mother F. I haven't really given these a chance to dry out, but do I care? Not really. One, two, and then maybe a third one. Yeah. What do we think? You know what? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Wow, it's getting really dark. All right, it's getting darker, so I'm gonna try and hurry this up. Um, I'm just gonna try and get a little bit more soil around these parts down here, just so they're kind of... All right, so hopefully that will stay. I am still missing my makeup brush, so I went to the store and bought a pastry brush instead. It seems to work really well. Does the job. All right, friends, it is getting really, really dark out this way. Night is falling. That's about all I'm gonna do this evening. I am gonna make a decision about top dressing and then, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Mm. 
Are you kidding me? Is it raining again? Oh god. Yep, there's just go some drops on my face. Okay, I'm gonna try and not get my camera wet. Oh, see you later. It is so good to be back on the balcony. It's been too long. Those were a monster couple of weeks that I've just had at work, but I shan't go into detail because I just wanna, I just wanna finish off this pot. It is a hot and dry day today here in Sydney, friends. Anyway, moving on to getting this pot finished. So it's just been sitting here for about two weeks, looking really lovely, but it does need some top dressing. We were tossing up between pumice and this mixed pebble. We're not gonna go with the pumice because the pumice has a tendency to turn white and I don't really want white top dressing for this. So we're gonna go with the mixed pebble. I hope this looks good. Well, only one way to find out. I think this is looking great. Oops, oops. Get a little bit under here. And just a little bit over At last we get to finish with this part and we get to finish this video. This has probably been the most randomest, bitsiest video. I think it's taken a, like something like three weeks to film the entire thing just because of all the disruptions that we've had and getting COVID and work and all of that kind of stuff. We're almost at the end of the year. We're almost there. Is that scale? Oh my God. December has been thrown around with all kinds of randomness, so I, I have no idea what video is coming next, but I'm gonna make a decision about it quick sticks because I just wanna get back in the garden. I wanna get back to filming more videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all of the things, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.